Hi everyone, I'm attorney Aiden Durham with 180 Law Co. in Colorado. You're watching All Up In Your Business where today I'm going to tell you about one pretty darn important detail that you should really be aware of if you are trying to build or improve your business credit or really your personal credit. This actually applies to both. But before we get into all that fun stuff, please do subscribe if you haven't already done so. Be sure to click that little bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. And don't forget to check the description for links to additional information and resources. And while I am a lawyer, I am not your lawyer. The stuff I talk about in this video and all of my videos is not a substitute for actual legal advice. If you need help with any legal matter, you should consult with a lawyer who's licensed in your state. So this video is actually going to be a little bit of a story time. In order for me to get to the point, we've got to back up and, and do a little storytelling first. Now I know there are some of you who are like, I don't want to hear the story, just get to the, get to the one thing that I need to know. So I'll tell you right now, the one thing you need to know if you're trying to build business credit is that it's not going to do shit for your business credit if it's not being reported to the credit bureaus. That's the one thing you need to know. So now, if you now wanna know why, how did I come to this? Why am I talking about this? Let's take a little trip back in time, shall we? To about one week ago. Back about one week ago, this is the Wayne's World thing. Some of you might, I'm sure some of you are old enough to get this reference. Doodly, doodly, doodly. So about a week ago, I get an email and it's from a company asking if they can, you know, do some sponsored videos. They want me to promote their product or their service in one of these videos and they'll pay me for it. I get a lot of these emails. 99 out of 100 I delete because they're either completely not anything related to what I talk about like I get a lot for crypto exchanges I'm like have you actually watched any of my videos I don't I do like one on crypto anyway this one was from a company that was somewhat related to business and operating a business it's like an online office supply store and you can get branded merch and stuff the email began with we are a tier one business credit vendor and we help small business owners build business credit by providing a net 30 credit account it went on to say that since you actively empower small businesses by providing informative and engaging content about financial wellness and investments, uh, I don't really do that. I'm reaching out to you to find out if you'd be interested in, in collaborating with us. And since this company sells business related products and merchandise, I didn't immediately delete it like I do with pretty much all the other emails of this nature. And because I do indeed aim to empower small business owners, just like they said, I of course looked into this to make sure it was something worth promoting and worth mentioning to all of you. And as it turns out, this company does offer a net 30 credit account. What does that mean? Basically, they'll, they'll sell you stuff and then give you 30 days to pay for it. Simplest way of, of explaining what a net 30 credit account is. But guess what else I found or rather didn't find. They don't report any of your payments to any credit bureaus. Well, that's not true. They do in one specific instance for one very specific kind of service that said that we will report this, uh, your payments to credit bureaus. But you really wouldn't know that unless you very closely read their terms and conditions, which I did, of course. And guess what? A net 30 credit account isn't going to do jack shit for your credit if it's not being reported to the credit bureaus. It's like me telling you, hey, yeah, you're trying to get your credit score up. Okay, I'll lend you a hundred bucks to help improve your credit. No, me as an individual person lending you money and you paying it back, that's not gonna do anything for your credit because I'm not gonna be reporting it to uh, TransUnion or Equifax or Experian or any other credit bureau. So of course, me lending you money isn't going to affect your credit at all. And what I found even more interesting as I continued to dig because, you know, I like to give, I give people the benefit of the doubt. I was like, okay, I must be missing something. There must be some term in here somewhere that talks about, you know, how this net credit, uh, net 30 credit account is going to affect your credit. There must be something in their terms about, we will report it to D and B. We'll report it to these credit bureaus. There was none of that. But if you do want to apply for one of these net 30 credit accounts, you may or may not notice there's this fine print on their credit application that says something along the lines of, I'm aware that pro approval is relied upon, uh, is contingent upon. I think there was some um, poorly translated stuff in there. I'm aware that approval is relied upon a commercial credit pull from either Equifax, DNB, Experience, or CreditSafe. So they wanted me to promote their company to you all under the guise that it will help you start 
and build business credit. But actually, they require that you already have a favorable credit rating or credit score before they'll even extend that Net30 credit account. And this, their website, they have Net30 credit account plastered all over multiple spots on the home page. Net30 credit account. We offer Net30 credit account. Every page you look at, there's something touting. We offer this Net30 credit account. And I assume this is in an effort to draw in folks who are looking to start or build their credit for their business. Now, I'm not going to name this company. I'm not going to put them on blast because I don't don't think they are blatantly trying to mislead or lie or, or fraud people or anything like that. Again, their website says net 30 credit account all over it, but there's really nothing. It says nothing about building credit or improving business credit. It's net 30 credit account, net 30 credit account, but they don't make any claims directly about this will affect your credit at all. There aren't statements saying that we will report payments to the credit bureaus. There's nothing like that that's, that's blatantly false or misleading. So I don't think they're trying to mislead their website visitors or their customers in uh, an obvious way like that. But they were definitely trying to mislead me in that email. And I don't like that. I don't like that. But again, like I said, I give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, maybe I missed something. Maybe there's some terms and conditions that I couldn't find or something like that. So I emailed them back. I'm like, hey, thanks for contacting me about this. I may be interested. It's somewhat relevant to my channel. You said in your email that this helps with starting and building business credit. I looked all over your website. I didn't see anything about the payments being reported to credit bureaus. So can you let me know, like, where are those terms? Can you tell me more about how this affects a business's credit? And guess what? I haven't heard anything back. No response. No response at all. So what's the key takeaway from this? The number one thing, the number one key takeaway, and the one thing that you need to be aware of if you care at all about your business's credit or your personal credit is that nothing's going to affect your credit if things aren't being reported to the credit bureaus. The only way to build or improve business credit is to have credit that is actually reported to Dun & Bra Bradstreet, DNB, Equifax, Experian, any of these credit bureaus. That's the only way. The number two takeaway here, don't believe everything that people say. Read, read terms and conditions, read the fine print, read contracts, ask questions. Don't just take everything at, at people's word. Dig into it. Ask questions. Make sure what they're saying is true. And a little bonus number three key takeaway here, particularly if you are an influencer or someone who works with brands and does sponsorships and things like that, and particularly if you're an influencer who cares about their reputation and integrity, make sure you thoroughly research the brand and the products or services that they want you to promote. I would have felt really dumb if I had come up here, told you all, hey, I've got this new brand partnership and guess what? They're gonna help you build business credit. And then turns out, uh, no, actually this does nothing for your credit. I'd have felt really dumb and I wouldn't have blamed any of you if that caused you to not trust me in the end or trust the other things that I talk about in my videos. So that's it. And a theme of story time. And in case you missed it, the number one thing you need to be aware of is that if you want to build business credit, you need credit that's going to be reported to credit bureaus. If you learned a thing or two, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that little bell so you get notified anytime I post a new video. And of course, check the description for links to additional information and resources. If you want to learn more about business credit and other things that you can do to improve or start working on building up your business credit, I've got another video that goes into a lot more detail about how to do so. You can check it out right here. I'll meet you over there. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Aiden Durham, and I'll see you next time.